So adding a timer into a hopscotch project, the first thing you want is a text box. And we're just going to call that timer. And when the game starts, we need to set a variable with that or create one. So we're going to set a new variable. And we're going to call that variable timer. And let's say you want it to be start with 10 seconds. We're going to set it to 10 seconds to start with. We are then going to add in here a repeat forever. Change variable is what we need to do. So we need to increase the timer by a negative number. So increase the timer by a negative one. So that'll have it going down. Right now we don't see it. So if I hit play, the timer is actually going to go down, but you can't see anything. So that's not really going to help us. So we've got to change our timer then also that when game starts to show we're going to set the text to be the variable. So I just clicked up. So uh, we had the numbers up there first. And I just kind of scroll over and I am going to pick the timer variable. So set the text to the timer. And that's going to have to repeat forever as well so it continues the show. Alright, so this is going really, really fast right now. The problem with that is that it's repeating forever. Increase this timer by negative one. What we need to do is a little loop. So in here, we need a wait command. And we want it to wait one second first. So we're going to have it wait one second. Get to my numbers. Wait one second and then increase by negative one. All right, so now you see our timer is running. From that point, you can do a bunch of different things. If you want something to say game over, then you do another game or another text box and you say game over. And we're going to add some code to this that says when the game starts, set the invisibility to 100%. So it's going to be invisible. And then we're going to do another one in here that deals with the variable. And we're going to go to when equals to, when equals or when less than. We're going to say when less than or equal to 1. So when the timer, so what is less than? When the timer is less than or equal to one, 0, sorry. Then we're going to change the invisibility to 0% which will have it show up. So when I hit play, we should not see the game over until it hits zero. Hopefully that helps show up.